Hello, I'm Spooey, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hello. No, I don't have a lot. Well, I do, but I can't be asked. I can see. So, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So, last time we saw the king, or not the king, but the lord of our previous city, and we, uh basically got the priest told off because he was being an ass um, it's night time so I'm going to sleep, I'm going to see if I can sleep out here, I can hopefully nothing bad will uh, happen with me sleeping out here let's have a look, so we say 8, let's say 8 game saved, hooray, actually saved wow amazing Right, let's uh, eat, so eat something and then we can go. Now, what do I do to do? What what to do? What to do first? I still haven't done... What I need to do is do one of these maps. At least one of them. And I might... Because I, I was pretty sure that says Rate, doesn't it? I might even Google it. You know what? I'm going to Google it now. I'm just going to have a quick look. Ancient Map 2. Okay, it's very far to the west. Like, really far to the west. Like, that map... ...is just... ...quite inaccurate, to be honest. If I'm a say so myself. It's like... ...quadrupled that distance between... ...the cave... ...and Rate. Like, quadruple. It's like... ...it's insane. So, we're gonna do, I guess, a quest. Let's have a look. So that's quite far, and I don't have a horse, so I guess we're going to go see Sir Ratzik, or rather Captain Bernard, so uh, let's go there instead. Now I've looked into making money in this game, and apparently you can steal things from, uh, say, this place, from the wealthy people, and then sell them to that Miller guy that was very grumpy. I think apparently up there, in in them buildings apparently. Oh look at the bell! Can I ring a bell? Please tell me I can ring a bell. Oh, can I not? Oh, that's a shame. I ought to ring a bell. You're not the only one that's lost your home and stuff. I've lost my home too. Stop begging. That's a star. What does that star mean? Where's that star? A quest tipster. Ooh! Let's go in. Hello? Hello? No one here? Hello? Is it you? It's you, isn't it? Hello, innkeeper? Jesus Christ be praised. Uh, yep, yeah, love him. Does anyone here need help? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Aye, there could be something for you. We're told our local gamekeeper was looking for help with something a while back. Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? Sure. I'm gonna keep you know asking you. Do you anyone around here who could use my help? Mm. No one I can take off. What about you know again? Do anyone around here who could use my help? Mm. I don't know. Can I keep Do asking you know him? Is he gonna get angry? My help? Mm. I don't know. Yeah, that's all we're going to get. So, the quest giver has now got a, a yellow mark over here. So, a gamekeeper wants some help. Hello. Good day to you. Uh, likewise. Any work going round here? Any work for me here, by any chance? That depends. How's your hearing? What? 
Really? I said, how's your hearing? It's perfectly fine. You don't have to scream at me. I mean, why are you asking? Because there is this one little job going. But I need someone who knows the area well and has good ears. Well, I don't. I can handle that. be able to handle that? Fine. So here's the problem. My friend is a birder, and he left a few rare nightingales with me for safekeeping. They're good to trade. Rich gentlemen hang them caged up in their chambers. It keeps their wives from fretting when they're off drinking and wenching. I see. The trouble is, the nightingales are gone. I don't know how, but the birds have flown. Hang on, surely you're not asking me to go flapping around looking for birds? Not exactly. Luckily, their wings are clipped, so they won't be far, and the watchman in the tower told me they headed off toward Vranik. I have traps prepared. It should be easy enough to catch them in those. Fine, but how will I know where to put the traps? I hear they like pine woods, and there's a pine-covered hill just before Vranik. <sighs> right, a bloody great wood. That's just why you need to listen out. Nightingales have a distinctive song. When you hear it close by, you set a trap on the spot. They kept twittering away the whole time they were here, so I can remember the tunes. I'll sing them to you. Please no. Oh, wait. It went something like this. <coughs> what? People keep birds like that in their houses. It's like the sound a cat makes when you pull it by the tail. You know how it is. The gentry's got all manner of odd tastes. The question is, can you remember it? Yes. Yes, I'll remember. Right, here are the traps. Don't forget, once you hear a nightingale, set a trap nearby. He ought to be caught in it after a while. I'll do that. Thank you. Uh, bye bye. So, is this like a, a main, a proper side quest, or is this just one of those fake ones that aren't actually. Oh no, it is a side quest. So this one's quite far as well, actually. Yeah, we'll see how we we'll see how it goes. Um, but first, we are going to see what um, Bernard wants. I think he just wants to train us. To be honest, I only have an axe. They stole my sword, so this can't go terribly well. Hello. All right, hello you. Are, are you Bernard? You are. Hello. Good day to you. Good. Good day. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy, Sir Radzik said. Yeah, that'll be me. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, yes, we we'll have. start with something simpler. Well, I think well. I, I'm going to get... Come with me I know I've done the training close. before. I don't want to be repeating myself. But I'd rather have... Um... So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. What are you waiting for? Oh, shut up. At least this is leveling me up in strength, look. So maybe it was a good idea that I did this. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. If you want me to try stabbing you with with it a few times, I... That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. 
one strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Yeah, but I always have the issue of running out of fucking stamina. Well done. Not bad. Like now, I've run out of what's fucking stamina. On? What do you mean, what's going on? I'm trying my fucking best. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Right. All right. All right. Uh. I don't know if I need to move my Very sword well in the direction so he's made, coming at. Come at me and don't hold back. Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Jesus, he's just like kicking the shit out of me. Stop! Stop, you fucking barmy. Stop it! You, you've got so much more stamina than what I have. Oh, look, I've fucking had it. I've reached a new level in the agility, bitch. Jesus Christ. He's actually killing me. Stop it. Fine enough. You're not a complete dead loss. It'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. You're Let's cheating. Try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Okay. Get you in a corner. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Okay. Come on. You slow mode. You fucking Neo now. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Good. No, not like that. You mustn't hold us. Oh, okay. There. Sorry. You have to move along with the attack. I get okay. you. Too soon again. Oh, shut up. Nice. Like that. But I'm not always going to have slow mo though. Good. And it sounds like it's hurting me more than it's bothering you. Ow. Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time. I'll fucking it. swing my sword at you. Very good. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Oh, Concentrate God. and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Good. That's not faster at all. It's still slow mo. Very good. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> all right. Ow. 
Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. To fully deflect the attack. Succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Oh shit. Ah. Oh shit. Wait a while, Henry. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now what? What do you want? I'm busy training. Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? Fuck off. Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. I'm giving you the middle finger. You can't see it, but I'm doing it. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Okay. I'm struggling. <sighs> Alright, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Like that. Very good. Very good. Not bad. Not bad. Ow. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Oh, again. Fuck off. Very good. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. I will. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Oh, right in the face. Very good. Very good. All right. Ah. I did that one. Good. Oi! Oh yeah, we're finished. It's just three out of three. Today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then like change that. the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Okay, um... Yeah. Was that it? Yeah. Yeah. Wrong! Yeah. Good. Wrong! <laughs> wrong. You're wrong. Well, now that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. Hooray! Don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Can I practice as much as I want, like with someone? Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Oh, come fucking hell. From now on, you can come to the arena anytime and challenge the master. Oh, good. Because I'll, I'll need it. Now, I've heard archery can be a bit difficult because there's no um, crosshair. So what I might do is tab out and just find the console command for adding the crosshair, because I'm going to need it.
Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. Oh, I've got oh, some braces. Exactly oh, I've got some braces. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. And what? Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. I'm Try fucking swaying everywhere. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. Wouldn't you rather try oh, one shooting at a barn door? I'm gonna oh, fucking shoot target, you in a minute. How about that? Away. You hit what you have there is a training going bow. To have to the arrow drops quickly. Fucking asshole. If you trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one. And then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. That flew nicely. Practice for a while, and no nonsense. If you want to hit anything, you're going to have to aim. Fuck off, right for your head. How about that for aiming? Maybe. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. Oh, fuck off. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. Wow. Well, for this, I'm definitely looking up the bloody um, console command for it. Right. Oi, what do you mean? Have you started already? Where's my bow? Shit. gonna win I think oh fuck did I win please tell me I won well I didn't expect that probably just wasn't your day sir I told you I have a heavy hand yes ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt what are you grinning about boy I think you owe me a little payback how about a sword fight at the arena if you like Johannes, Seriously? Is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, Blacksmith? If we must. I want Excellent. your bow first. Oh, hold the fuck on. Whoa, real fucking swords. Ow, shit. Help, he's killing me. Fuck. Oh, dear. Oh. 
going up already. No, actually. Metcar. Metcar to you too. Come on. Bollocks. 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 This won't take long. No? You seem to be taking your sweet fucking time anyway. Oh. Got you, you bastard. Well, you got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Give me your bow. Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Wow, how rude. Hello, are you proud of me? Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. Well, it's tough shit, isn't it? He shouldn't have challenged me. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzik's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. No. Now, go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Bailiff? Why am I going to the bailiff? Uh, let's have a look. Train hard and easy. Did he say... Is that... That's not him, is it? Oh, it is him. <coughs> well, to the bailiff. Are you serious? Oh, I'm sorry, you it? pompous prick. Right, is he in this? No, is he? Is he through this door over here? Hello? Are you? No, you're not. Where the hell are? Are is it you? No. Be a bit more careful. Someone up there. Got up here then. Is it in here? Hello? Aha! I found you! Hello, bailiff. God be with you. Is something going on here? Master bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Wow. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. I yes. am. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can rely on you me. You count on me, bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I'll tell him. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. 
Sir Hans Capen likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And okay. you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Oh, I got some... I got some goodies. I got... I got some money. Thank you, Bailiff. Can I... I can knock people out. I didn't even know. 